Well, we're in the Haruso house here at uh, this exhibit, Open Air Japan's uh, Open Air Exhibit of uh, Old Homes. This particular house was built in the late 17th century. I'll read the description. It's a little hard to read while I uh, try to pan around here some. The houses in the uh, Khufu Basin were well known for their earthen gable thick walls. The pillars placed at the center to support the roof ridge and the second floor. This house appeared to be in this Khufu Basin style prior to relocation. However, historical records show that the original house did not have a second floor. It was probably added when the Harushu family began raising silkworms and needed an attic for that purpose. The house has some unique characteristics, including four thick posts, which are traditional in the Khushu house. Inside the house, there is an earthen floor portion and living quarters, where the floor is covered with straw mats, <coughs> as you can see. And this type of flooring is called dozo, and under the mats, the earthen floor is packed and layered with grain husk. And we'll take a look at that there. Yep, got the grain husk. Obviously the fireplace. Other parts of the... Uh, quarters right there and all. Looks like a loom in the back behind that. And then some other uh, structures here. Here at the Open Air Museum of uh, old traditional homes of uh, centuries ago here in uh, Japan. I think this might have been uh, the stable where the donkey or the horse might have been kept. Got the bags and they depict the baskets that were mounted on the horse. Got a picture of that right there. Some of the uh, implements of that error and all. You can see uh, mud packed uh, walls there. And uh, got a picture here on the wall of the uh, home before it was uh, relocated. And then a little description here of uh, the daily life. This is a wealthy farming household. The daily life was simple and self-sufficient. The house was made with the roof extended low in order to avoid the strong wind. At the uh, middle of the period uh, in question, seven people lived beneath this large roof. They kept two horses in the stable, used them for agricultural, making manure and transportation. No bathroom in the house. So they had a quick bath in the wash tub put on the earthen floor. Water is indispensable for their living and they drew it from the river or spring nearby. <clears throat> Made their own clothes, worn the robes here. Took their meals consisted mainly of cereals like corn flour, barley and vegetables, and some events or celebrations of cooked food and red, uh, red rice, steamed rice with red beans. And uh, all of their food was homemade. So here we are in the 17th century Japanese home. Let's continue the trip.